Hey guys, this is Snake Slayer from WowCataclysmNews.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Archaeology and a little bit about the mechanics and how to level it up. After you train Archaeology, you'll start seeing shovels on your world map. These shovels indicate the dig sites that you'll be digging at. Lower level Archaeology requires lower level zones. The zones will scale to your level depending on what your Archaeology level is. When you get on top of the shovel on the map, start surveying. After you use survey, a surveying marker will come up with a different color. Red, yellow, or green. The surveying telescope will point towards the direction that you need to go. The color red means that you're really far away, the color yellow means that you're close, and the color green means that you're really close. After you survey the right spot, you'll dig up an artifact. Don't forget to loot it to get your items. Each artifact that you find is race specific, depending on what zone you're in. To see which artifact that you're looking for, you can open up the Archaeology tab. Here you can see the item and a little bit of history about what you're digging for. In this clip, I finish off the first Night Elf artifact. Once you get the needed race's artifact fragments, you can press the Solve button to create that artifact. After you create it, the item changes and you now go to different dig sites. A note to add is that dig sites will not move until you dig one up, and there are multiple artifacts in each dig site. Well, that's the basics of how archaeology works. Once again, this is Snake Slayer from WoW Cataclysm News. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more Cataclysm beta information and updates, as well as visit us at wowcataclysmnews.com.